families for procuring various agricultural inputs under Pratham Mantri Kisan Saman Niti scheme. Soil health cards have been issued. Atman Nipar Kirshi, self-related agriculture, is also a priority at the national level. We are also successfully providing the critical marking link in the agriculture we are launching to our mini entrepreneurs, FPOs, SHGs, by continuously building naturally Nagaland as a premium organic product. We are unable to procure sufficient made products to meet the state demand and therefore have to import. The focus area of the animal husbandry and veterinary services department has been to increase production. In addition to three motor bakery farms in Nagaland, we are also working on bringing in private initiatives for increasing feed production domestically and provide greater credit facilities to producers. The department also is focusing on development of other indigenous animals under rastrial cocoon mission to meet the demand of fish. A roadmap has been developed by the fisheries department for enhancing fish production in the potential market of the state. It is envisaged to bring forth more areas under bone culture by providing support in the form of subsidies and achieve self-sufficiency. Forests are as much part of our life as agriculture. We are proud of our forest will through the collaborative efforts of our villages and the forest department. We have declared community conservation areas. The effort at increased conservation have also been taken up under the JICA funded Nagala Forest Management Project and were appreciated by the Joint Mission of Embassy of Japan and JICA India during its visit to the state in June 2022. 
Our government is also committed to provide basic amenities to all its citizens and empowering them. The world is direction. We are working for housing for all by 2024, for which rural development and urban development departments have been using resources from the parliamentary Awas Yojana. Our department has been successful in completing 5,189 houses up till now, while the Municipal Affairs Department has completed 6,295 houses for the lesser privilege. Under PMKAY, a post security welfare scheme announced as part of an economic response to COVID-19, the state has successfully completed the scheme from phase one to phase five, covering about 14.3 lakh population. While the phase three is going ongoing, under the Pratanmantri Uchala Yojana, whose objective is to promote empowerment of women provide a healthy coping field and prevent health hazards due to use of fossil fuel. We have also provided access, access to beneficiaries to avail their fourth grade quota under one nation, one Russian card scale. <coughs> An adult mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation with its main objective to provide basic infrastructure to urban poor, all of total of 27 projects, 14 projects have been completed and 12 projects are in progress. Under Pratan Mantri Mutra Yojana, which is still by the Industries and Commerce Department, Loan up to rupees 10 lakhs can be availed from banks by non corporate non-farm micro-enterprises. And up till now, 15,191 units have been provided. Loans amounting to rupees 209.49 crore under this scale. The government focus on providing better and inclusive Health services to our people continues. We have not only improved health infrastructure, but provided more doctors to our health system. During the last year, the Health and Family Welfare Department has also rolled out modern IT-based supply chain and hospital management system that will bring in more transparency, accountability, and better management of our health care facilities. The second integrated Ayus Hospital, 50 bedded at Chidema, Kohima under Nishin Ayus Mission, was integrated on 4th March 2022. 382 Ayus Parat Health and Wellness Centers have also been integrated which provides comprehensive primary health care. It gives me immense pleasure to note that the construction work at Naga Medical College Kohima, Nagali Medical College Kohima, has shown 75% physical progress. We have created 60 posts of key senior positions. The department has applied to the National Medical Commission for starting the college from the next academic year 2023-2024. We are also targeting to complete the medical college at Mon by 2024-25. In order to provide inclusive health care cover to our entire population, we are getting, up, getting to launch the Chief Minister Health Insurance Scheme from 2nd October 2022. The scheme will use the platform provided by the Ayushman Bharat, Pratan Mandir Jan 
Arokia Yojana, the flagship national level health insurance scheme, which is also implemented successfully in the state. The scheme provides a five lakh per annum per family health insurance cover for hospitalized care. CMHIS will also provide cashless services for most of the diseases requiring hospitalized care. The Department of Social Welfare has been implementing various schemes for to uplift the weaker sections of the society in the state. Under Bhutan Mantri Matru Vandana Yujana, till that 31,370 have been enrolled, and a total of 27,904 pregnant women and lactating mothers have benefited from the scheme. And Poshan Apiyan, which aims to ensure attainment of malnutrition free India and ensure holistic development and adequate nutrition to pregnant women, lactating mothers and children, the department is covering 3,980 Anganwadi centers. In line with the national education policy, the Department of School Education has been focusing on providing quality ed education to all students, including those in the remotest parts of the state, with a view to have better monitoring of the teachers' learning process in the government schools. The normal teacher dairy has been converted into the digital teacher's dairy this year. This will bring remarkable changes in the functioning of Burma schools in the state. There are a number of other initiatives for improving the learning environment, including the cluster, cluster schools being taken up under the World Bank funded program. Through the central sponsor scheme of Rusa, the Department of Higher Education, Nagaland, is carrying out many projects for improving the infrastructure of the higher educational institutions in the state. Further, making quality assurance in a integral part of the functioning of higher education institutions, the NSC has successfully accredited 33 colleges out of 69 colleges in Nagaland and many colleges are in the pipeline. The technical education sector saw a push with the obtaining of the National Board of Accreditation for a period of three years by Pelhoshe Polytechnic Advisor and Gawam Polytechnic Kohema. The Oka Polytechnic has also been integrated and it will begin the academic session of the students from 2022 to 23. Our sports people will get benefited with the coming up of the state first regional center for sporting excellence for archery, shooting discipline, adventure in sports, adventure and motor sports, and fushal at Sovima which was inaugurated by Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland on 27 January 2027. Creation of job opportunities, skill development, and ensuring that people can, can fully employ have always remind the bravery of the government under some project. The Department of Employment, Skill Development, and entrepreneurship is establishing one entrepreneur's development center on pilot basis in collaboration with Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship Kohati at Garmin IJ Complex Kohima with the objective to train and promote local entrepreneurs. The department is also establishing one school of excellence in skill development at Garmin Higher Secondary School Zapla with the objective to make acquisition of skill aspirational for the youth at a young age and to make them employable. We are committed to create 
conducive atmosphere in the state for entrepreneurial activities. Towards his end, an e-commerce platform known as Yellow Chain for the local entrepreneurs has been created. Through his dedicated web portal, a live business between the buyers, sellers, and service providers are facilitated. The Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland, Aitan, has signed MOU with GIZ Germany in treaty last year to create an ecosystem for women entrepreneurs in Nagaland through the Her and Now project. An export facilitation sale was also set up by Aidan with the help of Indian Institute of Foreign Trade in November 2021. The industries department has initiated for proper documentation of the traditional attires, designs, and motive for obtaining the geographical indication registration. A committee is carrying out a comprehensive exercise on this. This exercise aims at protection of our, our common intellectual property rights and heritage will ensure that our people benefit from the use of the designs and motive. Nagaland State Rural Livelihood Mission continues to do an exemplary job in providing and promoting livelihood to self-help groups. Till date, one lakh, 11,702 lakh women have been mobilized and to 12,621 self-help groups and 1,084 village level federation and 49 cluster level federation have been promoted. Many banks are coming forward to extend credit facility to two test SHGs owing to the lower risks of default. The Chief Minister Master, Chief Minister Microfinance Scale, which is ready to be launched, this man also focuses on the SHGs. We remain committed for the development of the favored areas in our state. Today is successfully bringing a transformative exchange in favored areas through state and central anchor programs and interventions. The department has created Mungkeng brand, which function as an umbrella brand to market tribal products in the mainstream commercial space. Truth is, in further hand-holding economic opportunities are being created for local designers, skilled tailors and weavers with special focus on the underdeveloped areas of the state. We continue to improve our road networks in the state and the PWD help to construct and complete many roads under various schemes and projects. Under BMGSY, road length of 198.47 kilometers and 43 bridges has been completed. And in 2022-23, another 262 kilometers of road length and five bridges are expected to be completed. The Vitality National Highway is also taking up several schemes for properly maintaining the 1,111 kilometers of the 12 national highways crossing the state of Nagaland. I am happy to inform that three Nagaland houses are to be constructed near CMC Velo of 10,000 square feet with land eroded by the government of Tamil Nadu and Shino of 2.4 acres by government of Nikalaya, just 500 meters from 
real grip. And NT Group at Asa. Two flat type created housing complex were inaugurated at Mar Marabkong, Mokokchong. Three more such rental housing complex are expected to get completed within a few months' time. The infrastructure in our capital city is going to see further improvement with many mature projects such as the multi-level car parking at Old NST and Medical Directorate. Slum redevelopment within the APCD wards and upgradation of Kohima local crowd. We are consistently moving towards ensuring stable power supply throughout the state. With the Department of Power taking up and completing construction of several substations, the Department of Power is further taking up three hydro projects, namely Lower Tilda Hydro Electricity Project, Zinke Hydro Electricity Project, and these are well as part of external aided project to the Asian Development Bank. The issue with 186 megawatt hydroelectricity project at Tiku is also being resolved. Once this project come up, the set will be self-sufficient in electricity power supply, and it will greatly reduce the burden of the power purchase in the state. Under new and renewable energy, Zhejiang Hydro project of capacity 1 megawatt at Dongsan village under Mosul district was successfully commissioned on 3rd May 2022. Further, the first major solar power plant of capacity 5 megawatt in Nagale is coming up at Bogopo village under Newland district, which is expected to be completed within this financial year. In addition to conserving our water resources, we are also providing for tap water to every household of our remotest villages. PH department, using the resources under Jal Jivan Mission, has already covered 1,000 one lakh seventy-five thousand households, which is forty-six percent of the total target of three seven seven two eight six rural households that it will provide during two thousand twenty-two to twenty-three. Our state with its colorful and vibrant culture and blessed with stunning landscape has every reason to become a prime tourist destination in the country. The tourism department continues to take initiative for taking the tourism industry forward by earnestly participating and promoting the state tourism nationally and internationally. We are also promoting the state as an off-road destination in collaboration with one wonder beyond countries. With the launch of single window system, all tourist service check has gone on for, whereby now travel agents, store operators, and homestay bank case can apply directly online for registration with the department. Which the department is also working on a new tourism policy which will promote innovation and creativity and reinforce the role of tourism as an employment generator. Our government has always paid the utmost importance to maintenance of good law and order in the state. In the past few years, with the sincere and effective efforts put in by district administration, the police, all the security agencies, and our civil society organizations, the entire state has been witnessing an era of peace and normalcy everywhere. The tranquil atmosphere existing in the state got further vindicated, going after many decades 
15 police station areas of the state in April 2022 were denotified from being disturbed and thus taken out of the purview of the up spot. We are hopeful that more areas will come out of the impact of up spot zone. We have been consistently taking measures to improve the capabilities and infrastructure of our administrative machinery. In addition to providing modern building for various administrative offices over the past few years, the DC complex of Mokchung was inaugurated recently. The DC office complex at Pei and Zimbabwe will be completed soon. It is planned to shortly start the construction of DC office complexes at Nogla and Shamador. We are committed to promote transparency, accountability, and promote ease of living. The personal information management system for the government employees has been further strengthened and even built based on beams that has been introduced for all the employees. The Nagale Staff Selection Board has started functioning with the appointment of chairman and member and preparations are underway for advertisement and subsequently conduct recruitment examination for various posts under the State Department. Nagaland Legislative Assembly Secretary became the first in the country to operationalize paperless assembly proceedings under the EVTAN initiative. The functioning of Nagaland Assembly will be fully digital and paperless soon. We have also now moved towards online mode of issue of ILB for all categories, which is further going to enhance transparency and monitoring of ILB regime in the state. The Department of Information Technology and Communication has also developed various online platforms during the current financial year to enable information sharing, monitoring, analysis, and planning has also taken up various training for department on website maintenance and other technical workshops on electronic stuff. This has also been stated at various forums. All the elected representatives representing the people have come together. First delivery. Recently, the report of the National e Governance Service Delivery Assessment, assessment has been released by the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances Department of India. Modernization and upgradation of this infrastructure in the police department is a continuous process. The police department is replacing all vehicles and equipping itself with modern security equipment, weaponry, and communication system to increase its mobility and capability. 11 NABIR battalion headquarters in Apoy was also integrated last year. The foundation flag of the Nagaland Police Sports Battalion has also been led last year. Capacity enhancement of the State Forensic Science Laboratory Dimapo for DNA analysis and software forensic is being taken up during the year. The project once completed will gather to the requirements of investigative officers in obtaining expert opinion and help in earlier disposal of special cases. We have been trying always desirous of resolving our long-standing border dispute with our neighboring states. The Nagali State Legislative Assembly it constituted cabinet subcommittee headed by Honorable Chief Minister to examine the border issues on 5th August 2021 and for its miracle settlement and for amicable settlement of interstate border issues. Separate local committees have been considered to settle the issue amicably outside the court for each pocket or settlement for the border districts. We are really hopeful of amicable settling all of this point our nation is celebrating its 
75 years of independence. We know we have achieved a lot since the last 75 years. However, we are aware of many areas where we are yet to accomplish the desired levels. From today onwards, as we enter the Amrit Kal, the next 25 years that will take us forward 100 years of our independence, we need to take, take a pledge to get for our state and our people all that we still have not been able to achieve. Our state and the economic front needs to grow much faster and broader and create more employment opportunities for its youth, driven more by private enterprise. We need to continuously build our capacities, especially the capacities and skills of our youth, to enable the inherent talent to blossom in, in order to not only benefit, benefit but also contribute towards faster economic growth. We need to attract investment for harnessing our rich natural resources, especially oil and natural gas, effectively and sustainably. We also need to make our tourism sector more vibrant in order to achieve all these. Our institutions have to provide the enabling environment and society has to be progressive and forward thinking to impress the change needed and move forward cohesively, taking full advantage of our democratic tradition and strength. My fellow citizens, as we celebrate the Independence Day and also the Harkar Tiranga campaign in which every household in the state is hoisting a national flag today, I call upon every citizen to rededicate oneself, to continue working for making our state one of the most developed and progressive states in the country. Thank you, Kukdalem, and Jai Hed. And this is Samsonov and Holomor Viji, commanded by Yahoo Nai. We have Chongo Wichi, commanded by Nikin Shang Hamilton. This is the only NCC from Lonken, government and second view still Lonken, led by Hala. Thank you. 